hello and if you are joining in january of 2024 very happy new year to you this is kind of the uh inspiration for this podcast slash video episode i wanted to do something about voice care and make sure that you have everything in your toolkit to maintain a healthy voice throughout the year and beyond um, with some very simple tips. You don't have to get into like deep vocology or voice science or totally understand the mechanism of how your voice works, all of that stuff to be able to really keep your voice on track, keep everything healthy. So if you have tours coming up, recording sessions, or perhaps even you're a speaker, um, there's a really busy time of year for people who are personal trainers, who are in noisy environments and have to speak really loudly. Teachers are going back to school soon. So if you're using your voice quite heavily and regularly, these things are gonna help you whether you're a singer or a speaker. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and keep it really streamlined so that it's really easy to follow. The first thing that you really want to be aware of is knowing your environment. So a lot of times if you're an artist on tour or if you're changing your situation, um, the environment can drastically affect your voice. So where I live is in Alberta in Canada and Calgary specifically has a really unique climate where it's very dry. So when I work with artists who have traveled into this area for a show or something, it can really affect and impact their voice and their performance. So hydration is key no matter where you are, okay? So you wanna always keep your vocal cords lubricated, ready for work because lubrication is gonna avoid friction and when you start to get friction, the muscles are gonna start working harder to fight against stuff and get things fighting to get to the notes and the places where you wanna to get to. So lubrication is key and that is through hydration. Now, something that might pop up if you're not properly hydrated, you might find you get really phlegmy sometimes. That's the body's natural reaction to suddenly produce lubrication in a sort of emergency situation so if you find you're singing and suddenly you get real phlegmy especially if you're working your voice quite hard be aware of how much you're drinking what your water intake is I, there's some like i don't know whether i have a ghost floating around in here or whether it's just dusty probably just dusty um anyway i don't know if you just saw that thing floating around anywho um so hydration is key make sure you are taking in your water hours before you start singing there's no point chugging water while you're singing because obviously everything close your vocal cords are, are in your air tract so like when you swallow everything closes off if you were to swallow and the water to go to your vocal cords that's when you would start choking so you need to start drinking earlier get the water into your system so that it's getting to your cords way ahead of time if you're feeling hydrated when you start singing bad news okay so make sure you're really thinking about your hydration and think about it also in terms of your location where you are so if you're a touring artist if you're traveling a lot look ahead be like am i going to a really humid area am i going to a really dry area what's the weather like where i'm going is it snowing is it hot is it cold pay attention to what your environment is doing because your voice will react i'm going to talk a bit about having a vocal journal as well and i'm going to start building that soon so um stay tuned for the voice care journal um but yeah i would highly recommend having a journal about where you are what you've been doing and you can kind of see what works really well and what kind of triggers issues with your voice but i'll get to that in a bit um so humidifier if you are in a really dry environment so for example if you are in calgary or in alberta i highly recommend having a humidifier in your bedroom or wherever you are most of the time um, or you can use steam or one of the nebulizers. The vocal mist nebulizer is really, really cool. I'll put a link for that in the show notes. Um, it's portable and it's, um, it's just really handy to have, especially if you are touring and performing a lot and you're on the road. Um, if you aren't able to have like a permanent, just like sit in one spot steamer. Um, but yes, yeah, steam is great because that's one of the best ways to immediately get moisture and hydration to the vocal cords if you are feeling slightly dehydrated or say you had a heavy night the night before or you are tired. It's just a really good way to just refresh and um, get moisture and hydration to your vocal cords. Another thing, turmeric. I always go on about this. It's a really great natural anti-inflammatory. So if your voice is feeling tired, if you're feeling scratchy or if things might be inflamed in there, turmeric is a really natural way to reduce inflammation. Um, it's interesting because you either have to have it 
uh, warm with black pepper for it to be absorbed into the system or with a, a sort of a natural fat. So like you could put it in a smoothie with some yogurt. Um, so you, there's a fat element and for some reason black pepper, don't ask me, I'm not a naturopath or a nutritionist by any manner of means, but that's, that's what you need to actually activate it to be absorbed into your system. So just mowing down turmeric is probably not going to do so much. You can get it in teas and I want to think, I want to believe that heating it up in a tea is actually going to help you absorb it. But I think with black pepper and also um, a fat, an element of fat is going to really help your body absorb it. But you will feel the results um, that it will start to reduce inflammation for you if you use it regularly over time. Um, food. Speaking of foods and fats and things, uh, people can freak out and be really worried, especially sort of beginner singers are like, oh, I shouldn't have dairy. I shouldn't drink coffee. I should avoid certain things. Um, in some instances, it's a bit of an old wives' tale. Now, in some instances, as we know, people can be lactose intolerant or aller allergic, allergic to certain things. So everybody's body is different. Take note of how your body reacts to certain things. And I like to do this by making a note, if you're having a really great day with your voice, take note of what you did that day. What did you eat that day? How much sleep did you get? How much rest did you have? Are you stressed? What is your environment like? Just taking note of everything that led to a really great day of singing, as opposed to being like, oh, this is a really crappy day. What have I done wrong? This is bad. Like focus on what, what got you to that positive outcome and repeat. Um, if you do have a really bad day, if you're like, what the heck is going on? Take note, am I stressed? Did I get enough sleep? Am I hydrated? Where am I? <laughs> um, what is going on in my life? Because your voice is one of the first things to show signs of stress, exhaustion, all of those sort of things. It's a very, um, it's a very emotional instrument. <laughs> so if, uh, so it will respond exactly to not only what's going on with your body, but what's going on with your brain and your external factors. So like stress and tiredness can really, really show in your voice. So, so take care. If your voice is feeling really shot and you are able, rest rest is so good to just like if you need to take a nap if you need some sleep if you need to bump up your hours of sleep try that out um, but rest is key if your voice is really really screwed and you're panicking and you've got shows coming up or whatever and if you are able vocal rest don't fight through anything to think that struggling and pushing and forcing anything is going to like sort of force through this and get you to the other side it won't it will cause damage it will strain things it will stress things and can cause long-term damage so if you are stressed strained things aren't feeling good and you are able to take that rest please do it um, and make sure that you are following a routine uh, i have other episodes on the podcast of voice health and um getting things back on track after sickness and I will do another more in-depth episode coming up here soon on sort of vo voice therapy and exercises and things that you can do if you have been recovering from sickness or if you are tired or if you do have stress in your voice but if it's not working for you right now and you can afford to rest I would rest and then as soon as you start feeling better then you start rebuilding your strength and getting back into it. Um, so I'm trying to I'm looking through my list here to see what else so yeah rest and silence if necessary. Um, a big thing is confidence. If you are worried, like, oh my gosh, I shouldn't be drinking milk or I shouldn't have had that coffee. I had a coffee this morning. It's going to completely throw my gig off. Like, no, 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 no. Don't get in your head too much because this as well is going to really screw with that. So if you're feeling confident on stage and you dig into it and you give it your all and everything's feeling good, go for it. Don't sort of throw unnecessary stress at your voice because you're really worrying and you're really intense about your voice health. Just trust yourself, trust your instincts, trust your body, trust what you're feeling. And like I said, take notes of how things are going and what the results are that you're getting as you go through this. So yeah, enjoy it. So humidifier, steam or nebulizer, turmeric if you're feeling inflamed, hydration and water all the way, rest if necessary, extreme cases, silence if necessary. Um, knowing your environment and foods. Don't freak out about not having things if you love them and they actually make your day better. So for example, for me, I will never be quitting coffee um, because I'm obsessed with it. And if I quit coffee, it would be more dangerous for me than probably to keep drinking it. Um, but that said, I have actually decided this year to switch over to almond milk 
so I'm interested to see if that changes things with my voice um but yeah explore things change things as and when you feel it's necessary and check in on that kind of stuff have a routine that is a really safe uh, reliable warm-up make sure you're always warming up there's tons of warm-ups on this podcast um, if you have any questions please just reach out send me an email emma at rocket vocal studios.com that's r-o-c-k-i-t vocal studios.com um, or send me a dm on instagram or whatever i'm always open for chatting i love helping people especially if you are struggling with voice health issues if you have any challenges with what's going on and you you feel like you're straining stressing your voice or putting more pressure on your voice than you need to my passion is making sure that everyone is doing things safely healthily and in a way that is sustainable so do make sure that you are always doing a really relaxing gentle warm-up warming up in a really safe stable way and then working your voice or performing however you want to and try and incorporate a cool down at the end as well so you want to start getting the muscles to relax and chill out after you've done a big workout or a singing session so i hope this has helped i'm going to try and throw together a bit of a pdf download to kind of accompany this if you're interested in that kind of thing and uh, also stay tuned because i am going to be putting together the voice health journal so that you can really monitor what what you do to get the very best out of your voice but feel free just grab a notebook fill it out what did you do today what how did your voice react and that way you'll be able to really see what's getting you the results you want and what is maybe tripping you up a little bit so yeah happy new year i hope this helps you with your vocal journey and please reach out with any questions at all let's have a strong healthy happy vocal year for you and those bye Thank you so much for listening to today's show. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And if you do leave a review, it's really useful to help others discover the show. You can also check out the weekly vocal workout over on Patreon. I'll leave the links in the show notes where you can access weekly vocal training from yours truly and totally rock your voice. Thanks again for listening. Check out Rocket Vocal Studios on social and on the web. And I look forward to seeing you again next time.